The Hexman scatter plot for Power BI is a variation on a traditional scatter plot that involves clustering points onto a uniform grid of hexagons. I have an existing scatter plot uh, for comparison, and I'll pull down my category X and Y values uh, so you can see the Hexman as it's created. And you'll notice uh, as I pull this down for comparison that the scatter plot dots between the two charts are very similar. Uh, but the hex bin underlays uh, some hexagons on a grid below it. Uh, rather than relying on size to indicate changes in density like the bubble chart, the hex bin instead encodes its data uh, using bin color similar to a heat map. Uh, a higher saturation or a darker color indicates higher density. Particularly for large data sets where overplotting may be a problem, the hex bin plot can be useful to more easily spot variation due to the consistent grid and constant area. And so far we've looked at coordinates on the X and Y axis, in this case it's latitude and longitude, uh, but the hex bin plot will also allow us to more easily encode a third measure. Uh, you can do this with an existing scatter plot uh, by creating a bubble chart, and just to see how uh, that is presented there, uh, you can see that the bubble chart has the potential to quickly lose its value when numerous observations overlay each other. Uh, especially with large variations in bubble area, it becomes impossible to distinguish individual points, and it's also difficult to see the value in that third measure uh, that I added based on uh, the bubble's area when they all overlay each other like that. Uh, in contrast with a hex bin, uh, right now uh, with two measures involved, uh, the color is related to the density or the number of points that fall into the bins, but if I bring in the third measure, uh, it will change so that the color variation is now presented uh, based on that measure value. So uh, the darker the color here, uh, the higher the value of that particular measure. Uh, I would hope that many people would agree that it's a little bit easier to get a sense of the aggregate data uh, using this hexman layout rather than the traditional uh, bubble chart. And then finally, options uh, currently exist uh, for changing the base color as well as the bin radius. Uh, so we can go from our uh, Power BI green uh, to alternative colors here, as well as uh, change the radius uh, of the different hexagon bins. Uh, and you can feel free to, to play around and, and kind of see what, uh, um, what the data presents.